Mmm, a disturbance in the stew, I feel. New Jedi listeners, strong they are. Subscribe they must. Yes? Hello there. You will go to the Dagobah system. There you will learn from Yoda. Master of the stew. A Jedi strength flows from the stew. Mm. There'll be no one to stop us this time. Strong is the stew. <laughs> Yoda, you see Yoda. Mm. Yes. Hello there and welcome to Yoda Stew, the strongest stew in the galaxy. A Jedi's strength flows from the stew. This is your dedicated spot for all things Star Wars. I'm your host, Ezra, here to guide you through the latest Star Wars news, insights, and discussion from a galaxy far, far away. Hey, Star Wars fans. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Friends, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my podcast. And uh, can we just all take a second here and uh, acknowledge the craziness of that intro? Was that not a wild intro? Come on. I, I went crazy. Uh, just so you guys know, Lottie was kind of like, hey, maybe you want to do like a toned down version. And I was like, I just went nuts. I'm sorry. That is the toned down version. Just so you guys know, there are versions that are not toned down. I have alternatives upon alternatives. So anyway, it's nothing special, but it just makes me smile. So yeah, I mean, I think it kind of fits with, you know, meeting Yoda back in 1980 in Empire Strikes Back. He was a little crazy. He's powerful, but he's crazy and, and he makes a mean stew. So, you know, there's that. So anyway, again, welcome. Uh, super, super excited about this project. Excited about Yoda stew. Uh, it's it's silly to me. Again, the idea that Yoda has a stew that is just the, the way I the, imagine it is that Yoda has a secret stew recipe, and for 800 years he's been training Jedi and feeding them stew. Uh, and maybe that's really what has grown their abilities in the Force. I don't know, but I think the stew is strong. Uh, clearly, the look on Luke's face. If you go back and watch Empire Strikes back and you look at Luke taking that first little bite of the root stew it is mean it is bitter uh and I want to recreate it I want to start eating it here on the show and we'll have many stew recipes to come but uh anyways I've already recorded the first episode so or, I'm sorry the next episode I should say that is a breakdown of Bad Batch Season 3, Episodes 1 through 7. I did that with my lovely, lovely wife, Lottie. Uh, you'll hear her on the show from time to time. She kind of comes on and does, helps me uh, with the reaction episodes, something we used to do over on Star Wars Hangout, an old project of mine. So excited for that. So that's already done. We had a great episode. I needed to just get things out, you know? So many things I wanted to say. I was so excited uh, talking about Star Wars. We're getting close to May the 4th, and it's just, you know, I had to do it because it's just my favorite thing. Star Wars is literally my favorite thing. Uh, it got me through some really hard times as a kid and as an adult. So with that said, uh, what is this show? Who am I and what's my story? And more importantly, what can you expect from this show? So this is a Star Wars only show. It's an all Star Wars, all the time show. Each week I'm going to discuss Star Wars news, uh, Star Wars TV, Star Wars books, comics, all of it, you guys. I, I've i been reading, I've read most of the Legends books. I, I keep up on canon, enjoy the comics, and my gosh, I consume YouTube videos, other podcasts, and I just, I love it. It's something I cannot get enough of. So, yeah, and each week what we'll do is we'll break down. We'll do some uh, breakdowns of the TV shows, the episodes as they come out. We'll also uh, cover the news and review that just when things kind of pop up. But each week I'll try to bring you guys an episode. Might sometimes have to fill in with some lore stuff, just depending. But for a while, we have a ton of good Star Wars coming our way. So I think we'll be, I think we'll be set. So that's the gist of the show. It's a Star Wars show. Everything, it can be anything we want it to be. Uh, I would love to have listener comments and some of your guys' thoughts included into the show, and we'll get to those later. Uh, next up, who am I? So, my name is Ezra. My friends call me Ez. My wife calls me Sweetie. <laughs> 
I love podcasting. I love content creation. I've done a lot of different podcasts over the years. Bounced around, been in and out of Star Wars podcasting. Honestly, I can't and don't think I ever will leave Star Wars podcasting again. It's just the one thing that I want to do, you know? I absolutely love it. I want to grow old podcasting, and I just want to I just want to do it the rest of my days, you know? Just the rest of my days. But um, as a kid, I just fell in love with Star Wars. I really did. I loved the original movies. thought they were super cool. Uh, I was born in 87, so growing up, again, they'd already been out, the films had been out, but I had older cousins, and my mom was super into Star Wars and Star Trek, she was a Trekkie, okay, um, married my dad, last name Kirk, so, I, you know, there you go, Captain Kirk, she, she was totally a nerd, but I fell in love with this stuff as a kid, and I think one of the things, you know, I was, um, as a youngster growing up, I had a bone disease, and I was often on crutches, I was in a wheelchair, I had a lot of surgeries, and I was, I was down. There was a lot of times where I was down, I was stuck inside, I was healing, and I turned to Star Wars. I turned to Star Wars novels, to games, to action figures, the old EU stuff, and that's just really how I grew up. And my life was then changed again when The Phantom Menace showed up in theater, went with my grandma, remember the Chinese buffet that we went to afterwards, and I remember the daydreaming that I did all the way home. My gosh, I literally thought that I was a young Jedi. In my mind, I was just a young Jedi who was assigned uh, to protect some princess or, or queen or whatever. You know, I was, I was just in my mind just going nuts, just going crazy as a kid. So love, I, I definitely love the prequels, and I, I really grew up with the prequels. Um, but I, ironically, I did start with the originals, and again, I was introduced through Empire Strikes Back. So, hence sort of the name of this podcast, and, and, and I love it. My favorite movie is actually Return of the Jedi, though. So, there you go. I, I, I love that. That's my, my all-time favorite, and uh, big fan of Obi-Wan, Luke, Yoda, the original crew, and whatnot. So, for me, Star Wars is, is magical. It's, uh, it's, it's just good stories. I think there's good morals, good values, good lessons in it. And I want to do whatever I can to promote Star Wars and to keep inspiring people of all ages all over the world. Right? I really want people to, to find uh, their way into Star Wars. And I love it. I, I absolutely love it. When I go to Star Wars Celebration, I, you can see 10,000 plus people in there just nerding out, enjoying some small aspect. There's there's trading, there's uh, there's there's games, there's video games, there's books, there's cosplay, there's droid building. I mean, we could go on and on. There's so many things inside of Star Wars that you can that you can gravitate towards. And so for me, I just want to try to continue pushing Star Wars out there. I just I just talk about it. I love it. I get just again, can't get away from it. So, okay. Now, I would like to mention something that is important to me. Uh, I am a teacher, so this podcast will be a place that is safe for kids to listen to. All right, um, I, I I know there is a lot of there's a lot of negativity out in Star Wars. There's I mean it's in every fandom, honestly, and and I know people will come in of all ages with various opinions. But just keep in mind that when Ez is sharing his opinion here on the podcast, uh, it, I'm, it's got to be safe for kids, okay? So when you leave voicemails, they got to be clean. Um, if you want to write something in, make sure it's clean. You know, I'm going to clean it up too because just what I do. And I want to make sure that kids, young kids can come in and uh, have a place really where they can write in and they can have their stuff read on the show and they can listen to the show. You know what I mean? So I want, I want my kids one day to be able to, to grow up and listen to this podcast. That's my, that's my plan. That's my goal. So there we go. All good stuff. Um, I will probably release um, over on my Patreon page uh, maybe something a little, you know, it's f f I don't know, might do a little Jedi Council something. Something maybe that is more adult, if you will, okay? But in general, the podcast is going to be safe for kids uh, and safe for people, you know, of um, all walks of life. So, because I love teaching, I love teaching reading and writing, and uh, for me, growing up, reading was a struggle. Uh, my sister uh, has dyslexia. Dyslexia kind of runs in my family, and I love reading now. I didn't used to. used to hate it. And one of the ways that I got into reading was through Star Wars and through Lord of the Rings and fantasy sci-fi books. So I really am, that's, that, that's what I do for a living now, is I help kids learn how to read. I help them with their writing. And um, I, I have tons of Star Wars books on my shelf at school. So it doesn't matter whether it's Legends or Canon or what have you. I am trying to get kids to read, try to get them wrapped up in a, in a, in a good story. You know, I really think that uh, just to get carried away in a galaxy far, far away. It's something I did. I was in the backseat of my car uh, growing up with my mom, just driving down to Kentucky. And I just, I mean, six hours would go by pff, just tearing through. I had three of those, what were they, Jedi Apprentice books. So it was the Jedi Apprentice series. It was Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Uh, he had just got his, uh, went through some of his trials, right? He was going through some of, um, I think it was like some Padawan sort of exhibition. And Qui-Gon Jinn steps in, doesn't select him. Does not actually select him as his apprentice. First book had my jaw going, wait, I saw the movie. He is, is it, wh- how? Why? Qui-Gon just walked, aw- what's going on? And leave it to the Force. The Force brought them back together. But stuff like that. You know, I want to get kids into those types of books. So that's sort of uh, my, my, my agenda. You hear me doing that a lot here on this podcast. All right. And so there's that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I've been podcasting since 2016. Holy smokes. Uh, it's a little crazy looking back, honestly. It's been a blast. And um, I hope that uh, eight years from now that I can look back at the start of this project and be happy where it's where it is eight plus years from now, right? That's that's kind of my goal. I really want to stick here and just grow this little community, this little uh, YouTube page, and and just uh, stick in my own little corner here uh, of, of 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 the Star Wars fandom, right? So, and with all that being said, if you're interested in any of my current or former projects, you can uh, check the description down below. Uh, at one point in my life, I was I was actually podcasting with three different uh, guys. <laughs> was crazy. So I had three different co-hosts, uh, my buddy Mike, my buddy Matt, and my buddy Lane. And you talk about a wild time. We were we were doing great. We had really awesome, cool, fun, successful podcasts. Still have them and still friends with those guys. But I, I it was not healthy, friends. I was I was dying there for a hot second. Uh, so I've changed all of that and I'm focused on Star Wars. Just Star Wars for now. It's where I want to put all of my energy. I, I will guest on other shows. Uh, I've, I've had some contact with folks to, about talking about Wheel of, Wheel of Time, Game of Thrones, still do Lord of the Rings. And most of all, I actually, shout out to my wife, Lottie, aka Red 4, Fleur herself. Um, I do actually run a podcast with my wife, and uh, she produces that podcast. It is called Shell Cottage Radio, a Harry Potter podcast. So our two loves are Star Wars and Harry Potter, um, just kind of how we met. We actually met through a Harry Potter podcast, sort of, if you will, and Instagram and what have you. She, we're an international uh, couple, and she is from Berlin, Germany. So if you hear me uh, sprechen the Deutsch here a little bit, <laughs> that would be why. All right? Trying to, you know, ich lerne Deutsch. Right, sweetie? Okay, good. <laughs> But we have a blast. I mean, we have a blast on Shell Cottage Radio, and again, you'll hear a lot. You'll hear in the next episode where we pop on here and we're talking Star Wars, and I kind of uh, walk her through the Star Wars fandom a little bit. And uh, she is also a teacher, too, just so you know. So we're both teachers, and again, um, definitely want you guys to come here and feel feel welcome. All right, and now on to what you can expect from this show. Each week, I'm going to be dropping an episode where I will discuss a Star Wars topic. And I say just topic because right now we know what those are. It's going to be Bad Batch. It's going to be uh, Tales of the Empire. And then it's going to be The Acolyte. So week by week. But in between, when we don't have anything on Disney+, Plus, I'll be doing some lore videos, some breakdowns of various uh, Jedi, uh, looking into theories and discussing the news. Star Wars news. Things I just, I mean, I'm already doing all the time and I just can't again help myself. So I need to talk to somebody, even if I have to talk to myself and this camera over here. By the way, this is a podcast, uh, but there is a camera. I'm looking at it right now. I don't really always know where to look, but it's right there. And uh, I, I hopefully, I'm, I'm hosting this podcast over on Spotify, so we'll see. I'm going to try to upload the um, the video version there, but in general, it's a podcast. I mean, don't don't watch it and drive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just if you want to see it, it's cool. It's also over on uh, YouTube, so if it doesn't work out on Spotify, it'll be over on YouTube. YouTube pages, just Yoda Stew. All right. So again, to start, Lottie and I have broken down the Bad Batch Season 3 into uh, Part 1, which we're going to drop this week, and then Part 2, which we will drop right after the finale of Bad Batch. So once we get all those episodes, we'll go in and do a Bad Batch Part 2. Then we'll be diving into Tales of the Empire, which uh, looks really, really, really cool. Morgan Elsbeth and Barris Afi, I'm really excited for that. I think that was a, a cool surprise announcement, so we'll, we'll have that coming up. And we'll be discussing that over the weekend of May the 4th. And then we'll finish out the school year and get ready for the Acolyte. Each week of the Acolyte, we're going to do our initial thoughts and review of the episode. And then we'll follow that up with an episode where we share your transmissions. So if you send me a transmission either via email, yodastu77 at gmail.com. That's also down in the, in the description. Uh, or a DM on Instagram at yodastu77. Then I'll read those on the show. I'll probably also post a short or a poll on the YouTube page to gather some more comments. Uh, I know starting off, sometimes it's, you know, people are either shy or just have, they're busy and, and don't 
don't want to kind of write in and do the whole email thing. It's a, it's a lot to ask, I think, sometimes. But we're going to uh, start to bring your guys' thoughts. And I really want it to be a place where you feel comfortable sharing your thoughts. Kids of all ages, um, you know, boys and girls, whoever, adults. I, I Most of this will be you know, me talking to my friends, my buddies, and my wife about Star Wars. So, uh, but yeah, if you're out there listening and you want to send in a thought and you want to hear what Ez has to say on it, uh, would love, would love to read it on the show. So, all right, that is pretty much it. So again, welcome. Welcome to Yoda Stew. The stew is strong. Get you a spoon, get you a bowl, and uh, we're going to get after it. I, I am really, really, really looking forward to this project. I think after I recorded the first episode with Lottie, I haven't, just, I haven't been this fired up in a long time. I don't know why. I'm just so fired up, and I think it's like towards the end of the school year. That could have something to do with it. And I've just sort of uh, had a lot of time to meditate, clear my mind, and get ready and get set on something, and this is it. So here we go, friends. Glad to have you along. In the next episode, Lottie and I will be breaking down Bad Batch Season 3, Episode 1, through about Episode 7. So uh, check that out here. Uh, next. If you get a chance, please drop a review on Apple Podcast. A written review really does help uh, help, help the show, helps us kind of kick off here. And uh, if you can, also a five-star over on Spotify. Again, both of those really kind of help propel the show forward, and it would mean a lot to me if you're able to do that just quickly to get us going. So, all right, again, thanks for stopping by Yoda Stew. Uh, we will see you next time, and as always, may the Force be with you.